All right, welcome back. We're taking a look at Guitar Fetish Replacement Telecaster Neck and uh, a Guitar Fetish Replacement Little Puncher Double Humbucker. So we'll go over all the specs and then we'll do some sound samples and we'll check it out. Please give a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Alright, we're taking a look at this Little Puncher XL from Guitar Fetish and uh, that is a double humbucker hot rail pickup comes in 6.5k, 10k or 15k this is the 10k so it's in the middle and it matches the volume of the other pickup pretty well so that's good um, it came with five wires a ground wire and two wires for each of the coils I soldered the green and white wires together to make it a two wire pickup and then I put the ground wire under the bridge and soldered the red and green wires to the original wires that were there so it worked out great and it doesn't hum or anything and it sounds good so we'll do some uh, sound samples on that and it was only thirty dollars plus shipping and handling and tax and that's meant for telecasters we're looking at this guitar fetish replacement telecaster neck and it looks like it has a lawsuit headstock that looks exactly like a fender headstock I had to provide my own string trees and tuners it did come with a nut already pre-slotted but I did have to file down the slots a little bit to get the right height and action um, that's a plastic nut it's got a pow ferro fingerboard it's a Canadian hard rock maple neck with the pow ferro fingerboard I put some oil on the wood it's very dry and uh, it's a 2 and 3 16th inch wide neck heel, 22 frets. Um, let's see, it's got vintage 9 millimeter holes and it's medium jumbo fret wire with a nickel silver alloy. The nut width is 42 millimeters, first fret is 21 millimeters in depth, and the sec 22nd fret is 27 millimeters in depth. So yeah, a really nice replacement neck. I wish the Pau Ferro was a little darker. It's kind of like a light brown. I would prefer a darker brown, but that's okay. Frets I wish were a little taller, but they're kind of, they're nice though. They're wide, but they're a little, not very tall. So they're medium frets. It's got your perloid dot inlays. Check out the back. No skunk stripe. Amber tint finish. So really nice, great replacement neck. It goes $75 plus tax and shipping. And there you go. I did have to put a shim with some construction paper to make it a little taller because uh, my saddles were bottoming out and I couldn't get the right action. So I had to raise it up just a tiny bit. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're doing projects like this. And it has a two-way truss rod which for me was a little confusing because I was cranking on it the wrong direction and then I did the other direction and that worked fine and then I got it perfectly adjusted but it is a two-way truss rod so just keep that in mind it kind of goes the opposite way that you think when you're tightening it or loosening it and there's no um, little wood in the plug there it's just bare so that did get a little damaged when you're turning the truss rod. So it would be nice if they had a little wood thing there. Anyway, there you go, folks. We'll do some sound samples and check it out. We'll do some clean samples here. We'll check with the neck pickup here and compare it. That's the neck pickup to the bridge pickup. 
And you can see it's a total big difference. It's super muddy on the neck here. And then back to the bridge. Get some nice clarity there. Neck pickup. Sounds muddy. So you get much more clarity that way. Compression. Drive, mild overdrive. Heavy gain overdrive. Thank you. 
Yeah, so final thoughts on this guitar. Uh, this neck is great, 75 bucks, and it's beautiful. No fret sprout, 12 inch radius, so it's really flat, really easy to bend and play and shred on. It's perfectly carved, it's nice and thin, but not too thin, so you can really get around real easy. Fits my hand perfectly, it's kind of like a wide C or a D shape. Um, and the pickup is awesome. It's double rail humbucker pickup, so you can do your heavy metal shredding on your Telecaster. It's got great clarity, good bass and treble, really nice dynamic range. So, awesome pickup there. 30 bucks. So, guitar fetish, you rule. And they got awesome parts. So, if you ever want to do a little upgrade on your old telecaster i recommend it all right well thank you for watching i appreciate it